our positions on Rhodesia long before the British elections on the 3rd of May. Uh, Mr. Andrew Young and Dr. David Owen had, of course, influenced all of us in adopting certain... It's a great game between the Soviet Union and China. Vietnam was a third player in the game. We, we are not yet chips. We don't intend to be chips. We don't want even to be players in the game. Alas, would you like to be a chip on a gaming table? Half a million have already been disposed of in this way. Another million and a quarter. Another one to two million from Cambodia, if not more. Amongst them, just, just think. I don't like this comparison because it's not analogous, but just as when the Jews came here, those of you who've read your books, what happened in those years, will know that doctors were not allowed to practice because they didn't have British medical degrees. Specialists in their field. Well, this is part of the price of becoming a chip. I've got two and a quarter million chips. I don't intend to have them put into this kitty. In order to minimize the number of chips crushed up in this game, we must get the world to understand what this game is about, who are the principal players, in order that the principals will stop trading human lives for political benefit. The political benefit, as of now, goes mainly to the Soviet Union. Ooh.